brown skin. You know I love your brown skin. In today's society, everyone's looking for an accurate depiction of where they belong while striving for autonomy at the same time. There are often times you can walk through a major department store and see a pair of jeans that accurately depict who you feel you represent. This can also be said when it comes to stereotyping. When collective galleries of images are bestowed upon individuals who are looking to view others as the way they are or the way others want them to be seen, sometimes the depiction can be right and sometimes it can be just wrong especially when generalizations are confused with stereotypes. In understanding the use of stereotype, a simplified image of a person or group, television and film often serves as a source to receive a quick visual image of a typical person. When the subject of the way African American women were depicted in television and film were approached, it was immediately placarded as a subject too difficult for some to address without fear of being biased or racist, even in today's society. Despite cultural changes, African American women are stereotyped more than they would have been before the 90s. You would have seen shows with a mammy who nurtured the white family she worked for. Jezebel, a mulatto woman attempting to pass for white and actively attempting to seduce white men while being deceptive of her mixed race. Sapphire exhibited behavior concurrent with attitude that ran men off leaving the black family broken. The crack addict who's chasing a high and leaving her children and family behind for a cocaine derived drug. When actress Danielle Ward was asked about her view of how African American were depicted, she made a statement in her interview saying, quote, there's not enough people like me, unquote. Um, women in television, I'm going to say early 90s or just in the 90s, I always used to joke with my mother uh, when we see the famous actors or actors that we would like, we say, oh, is she going to be the prostitute or is she going to be the drug addict? Because most of the time when we watch these movies or television shows, the black woman was either, you know, a prostitute or um, a drug addict. And nowadays in film, you have your, um, you might see more black women, but they're stereotypes. You know, you have your, the black woman with the attitude that always has to tell you what's on her mind or, you know, stereotypes like that that are becoming more mainstream and disturbing. Uh, my view of how black women are portrayed in uh, television and film don't accurate, accurately represent um, the people in my family or the people that I hang around. Um, there's not enough people like me. There's a show uh, called The Adventures of Awkward Black Girl, which is actually a web show that actually is the closest um, character that I myself can identify with. Um, so I wish there were more things like that that were on mainstream. Uh, it was television. hard for African American women to grasp an accurate portrayal of who they were supposed to be according to images of portrayal. Are you happy here, honey? Are you finding what you really want? I'm somebody else. I'm white. White. White! One thing I find interesting um, about the imitation of life, there were two versions of the film, one from 1934, uh, which the actress, I believe her name is Freddie Washington, she was an African-American woman, uh, fair skin, green eyes, uh, that played the black daughter that was trying to pass for white. In the remake, uh, they had a Caucasian woman play an African-American woman trying to pass for white. Uh, but in the original, um, I have read, when I studied that character, uh, Freddie Washington, she had green eyes, uh, but studio executives had told her, you know, because she was a good actress, that she um, could pass for white if she was willing to, to deny her blackness, that she could have um, had a larger career in film, but she, you know, didn't want to do that. Um, so therefore, I mean, she did make other films, but might not have had the career that she could have if she had not have passed for life. Um, on the other hand, I also read, don't know how true this is, um, that the films that she, that she had been in, um, black films, 
sometimes to think what actually <laughs> they would put foundation makeup on her to make her darker. Because at the time, in the 30s and 40s, the ones that were often to black women were your mammies, you know, your beads, and roles like that. Uh, you know, uh, black people weren't portrayed as being intelligent. And Facing the future with 90s era stereotypes to set the tone for today's television? Local comedian Buddha Eskew that's seen and joked about his fair share of life images also feels that African American women of today are stereotyped more than in the past. Buddha gives a reflective view comparing an African American woman in film from the past with how she may possibly be stereotyped today in television. He uses an example from Alex Haley's Roots by saying, quote, Miss Kizzy from Roots, instead of carrying buckets of water on her shoulders in today's world, she would carry buckets of KFC. While I picture it as funny, it is in a way stereotyping, unquote. This was via written response. The problem with stereotypes, they not only affect the targeted group, they affect everyone. Sometimes it determines the way we think and interact with each individual group. Hermes further adds to this by saying, quote, The most dangerous quality of stereotypes is they never fully disappear and can be reviewed in the service of old myths, unquote. Stereotypes continue to perpetuate with advancement by each generation to come. As with any problem that arises, we have to consider a possible solution to each individual problem. The principal solution to the problem of African American women not being portrayed stereotypically in television and film is not to apply stereotypes. Here, Danielle talks about improving the positive image of African American women and some characters that have exemplified positive images to the American image of African American, American, American black women. Black people weren't portrayed as being intelligent individuals. That has changed. You know, we see, um, you know, you got Claire Huxtable, people like that, um, uh, Felicia Rashad in roles that you know, Grey's Anatomy, Dr. Bailey, I can't remember the actress's name, but there are actresses now that people that you do see every day, not the norm, you know, but um, there are changing roles for black When Buddha was asked for a male perspective on how African-American women should be depicted, he said, quote, My only thoughts are Pam Greer as Jackie Brown make a black woman strong and independent, unquote. Jackie Brown is a Quentin Tarantino movie whose plot centers around an African-American woman who is a flight attendant and becomes an entrapped witness against an arms dealer. Jackie masterminds a way to get all responsible parties apprehended and acquit herself of linked charges. Watching television is an entertainment source that many individuals can't live without. Whether galleries of images are viewed to obtain a positive or subjective depiction of an individual or group, the choice on how others are viewed is still ultimately up to the individual seeking to relate to other groups or cultures. Stereotypes can be hilarious sometimes, mostly because they came from some type of generalization expanded. However, the subject can't be too difficult that discussion and implementation of solutions are a greater table. An African American woman is capable of being a woman of respectable character. Intelligence and positive role models not only for African American women, but women of all races. Brown skin, you know I love